Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and this video is a walkthrough of exporting your Ancestry tree into a GetCom file. So when you're within a particular tree, you want to go to the tree settings page. So from the name of the tree, just click the drop down and click on this cog tree settings. And the page opens with the tree info tab open and this is exactly where you want to be. Down here is where under manager tree is the export tree button. And just be a little bit careful because beneath the manager tree section is the delete your tree section and you don't want to click this button, this link here by mistake. Just focus on the green button. Click on export tree and the display will tell you that a getcom file is being generated on the Ancestry server. And when it's completed, you will see this button here. You see it's changed from export your tree. It's now changed to download your getcom file. So just click on the download button and notice down here that the file gets put into your browser downloads folder, which varies depending on whether you're on a Windows or a Mac. But I'm just going to open the file location. Now the name of my tree, just to be clear, is Download Family Tree. That, that is how I named it. So what Ancestry does is it creates this getcom file, see the extension .ged, and then it has the name of the tree. So one of the things I just want you to notice is that there's nothing else here. You don't see in the downloads folder any photos or images and if I just go back to my tree I have a couple of profile photos and I also I went to the profile of this made up chap and go into the gallery you notice that I have um, another image I have uploaded a, a stories in the form of an ex a word document and a PDF and this is the profile photo that I uploaded from my external hard drive none of those are in the downloads folder right there's just a single file and the point about the get file is that it's it's a text file it's a text file so it it doesn't store images right or photos just to stress the point any photos or documents that you uploaded from external media into your ancestry tree does not get exported and is not part of the get file so this is just a text file we'll just quickly open it in notepad plus plus and you can see it's perfectly readable we've got Peter Smith there, that's, that's his gender, that's his death date. Do notice that what Ancestry is giving us here are links to the objects that I'm, to the images, right? If I take this particular link, so notice that this brought me to the page that has the image, but it actually hasn't exported the image itself. Similarly with the external PDF and the external Word document, that will bring me to the Ancestry page that shows you those external media, but it doesn't export the documents themselves. What have we got here? So if we go into Peter Smith's profile, and I'll go into his facts, notice that I have attached a birth record and a death record to this particular profile. And what you're seeing here is the GetCom format where that is a reference to the actual record, and this is the Ancestry archive. So what, get, what does get exported then? Well, what gets exported are the details of the records that are associated within Ancestry, from Ancestry archives in, in your tree. If you've got links to external, um, for example, the obituaries are external links, you would see those links as, as URLs in your tree out to the legacy.com. Then you have links to where the external media are stored within your Ancestry tree, but it doesn't actually export those images and photos and documents themselves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if you now upload that file. So I'm going to go to create and manage trees. I'm going to go right down to the bottom and see here we've got this upload a getcom file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this copy of downloaded. Don't want it public because it's just a demo tree. I'm going to choose the file. I'm going to choose download family tree. This is what I just exported. So choose the file, it's now named it as the name of the file name of the tree. So I'm going to have to overwrite this. Copy of, don't make it public, don't need notes. I accept their terms and conditions and now I click upload. So we're getting this progress bar. 
And there we go. Do I see it? Okay, I'll refresh the page. Okay, I think that's uh, just a, a glitch with the interface. So in the trees drop down, I see copy of download family tree. But I've refreshed this page a few times, and it should be in alphabetical order, and I don't see it. Um, ancestry glitch. It, it has uploaded it. So I'm now going to go into copy of download family tree. So what have we got? Well, uh, one thing I've noticed is that the photographs, the profile photographs have disappeared. Did it, did, did all the persons and relationships are correct. Like, I've not lost anybody. Um, but if I go into Peter Smith and take a look at the profile, notice that I have the birth records are associated. So these are from the Ancestry archives, and by uploading that getcom file, Ancestry was able to reconnect this person, this new person profile, with the Ancestry sourced records that I had associated with it. But there is a missing record, and just to show you what's missing, if I just open another tab and go to the original tree, let's download family tree. Yeah, don't see those profile photos, but if I go into the profile, I had added, just as a test, I would added an external web link, and I just link it off to a YouTube video. Notice that hasn't been brought in. So in my original tree, I have a comment, I have a note, and I have a tag. Okay. So if I go to, so if I go back to the new Peter Smith, what have I got? The note has been brought in. The comment hasn't. Note yes, comment no, and the tree tag no. So I think what's going on there, well certainly with my tree tags, they're proprietary to Ancestry. They're very specifically Ancestry functionality. They're not part of the GetCom standard, so that makes sense as to why it doesn't come back in. The notes are part of a GetCom standard, and therefore they've been preserved when you've imported a GetCom Ancestry tree. The notes are preserved. Comments have not been preserved. So just be aware of that. And then in terms of probably what you're most interested in is if I look at the original gallery where I actually have two images and then this these stories, what happened to them? They're not there. Although the links are in that getcom file, it doesn't associate images and photos when you bring it back in from a getcom file. So those are the limitations. But it's still worth, I think, if if you've never taken a backup in any shape or format of an ancest of your main ancestry tree, I think it's very much worth just quickly clicking that export button for peace of mind. It it is a basic backup, but it's better than nothing at all. So what do you do about the external media? About all those photos? What if you wanted all these photos exported from Ancestry? We've got a separate video that reviews a free Chrome extension that downloads the full media gallery. Well, it downloads photos and stories. I'll put a link in the description below. You can check it out. In terms of this export of the getcom file, the limitations, what you can do with it, I've got a an article on the data mining DNA blog that will act as a companion to this video piece. And I'll put a link to that in the description below.